Hello, hello, hello. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? <clears throat> Very I'm well, Amanda. thanks. I'm Amanda. We've got Danny, Ar Danny yeah, I Hidalgo. Yeah, I want to say Amanda Flores. Armando Flores. Oh, yes, Flores. Congratulations. Yes. Hidalgo so Films, much. outstanding achievement for human interest, long form, and uh, it is the Amanda Flores story? Yeah, the Armando Flores Armando story. Flores. Yes. So, so the story was about you, and you were the producer filmmaker. Correct. Yes. All right, so what was, uh, our, what was the Armando Flores story about? Well, it's, uh, it's about me coming to the United States um, and how I started in, in living in the United States when my dad was involved in drugs and stuff and going through uh, my childhood and going to, you know, not having enough money, going, meeting my wife. I have two kids and one kid passed at the I'm age sorry. of 27 and that it was a tornado for us and it still is but that gave us more faith in God. And also my wife going through cancer and she's a cancer survivor. So life gives us different things in life that it makes you say like, why don't you stop or why, don't, why you continue? Well, faith in God is what keeps me going. If uh, we didn't have no faith, we would not be here. And then Hidalgo believing in, in, in our story and he actually put it in one short So film. why did you want to tell the story? You know, I want to tell the story because I did a, um, a story actually on one of his friends uh, in 2015, I believe it was. And um, as I started talking to Armando, he started telling me about these personal uh, triumphs, but also personal tragedies. And so the personal tragedies, I thought, I thought initially was going to be about a story about a family losing faith. And then as we talked more, it turns out that, you know what, it ended up increasing and strengthening their faith. And so they didn't let it get them down. So they kept their faith in God, but they also, uh, faith in each other too, which is a big thing. Um, being supportive of one another. And as he says in the film, you know, if someone loses a child, someone goes through a divorce, uh, 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 goes through uh, cancer or has cancer, many of those families end up breaking apart. And uh, he stood the test of time, as well as his wife Irma Flores. And um, I was just grateful because they were so vulnerable to open up, to share their heart on film, and um, which most people wouldn't have the strength to do. So It's so much of our careers. I think that's something that is in recognizing the achievements and the skills of people tonight. It's the people who do allow their stories to be told, who are vulnerable, and that takes such courage. But we're seeing a common, common theme yes. tonight. We're seeing this theme of like sort of light in the darkness, you know, and yes. uh, resilience yes, through tragedy. You yes. never imagined, I'm sure, your, your story would be an Emmy. No, never. This wasn't, I don't think this was meant to be here. It was more meant to be like part of my story that Danny Hidalgo believed in and he loved the story. But going through the, through, you know, put it in a, over here, then it was like a, a very, it touched people in hearing the story. And it probably means so much to you. It so. means a lot to me and my family. My, I got a beautiful granddaughter that she's watching me on TV today, and um, it's it's. I can't wait to go home and you know. Give them all a hug. Give them a big hugs. hug. Mm -hmm. but and also my daughter. Both of you guys. Thank you. There. Really appreciate it. I'm so all sorry right. for your Enjoy loss. Your Emmy. Congratulations yeah, you so to you and congratulations. all of your you. all of your triumphs. Thank you. Bye. Congratulations.